In this problem, we're told you pull upward on a stuffed suitcase with a force of 105 newtons and it accelerates upward at 0.725 meters per second squared. What are the A, the mass, and B, the weight of the suitcase? So as usual, the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this suitcase, right? And we know we're going to be applying a 105 newton force pulling it upwards. So you want to label that. And we also know the acceleration of the suitcase is 0.725 meters per second upwards. So now that we have that, what you want to do is draw the free body diagram of the suitcase, which basically just means label all the forces acting on it. So we already had, uh, we already labeled one of the forces, which is the force going upwards, right? 105 newtons, but there's another force. And so this force that we have to add is mg. And this is basically called the weight force because any object basically has a force acting on it, which is uh, going to be the force due to gravity, right? On Earth, we have gravity. So this is the force as a result of that, which we call the weight force. And it's just equal to the mass of an object times g, which is gravity. And so now that we've labeled the free body diagram, what we want to do is just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the mass. And the way we're going to do this is by using Newton's second law, which basically tells us the sum of the forces is equal to mass uh, of a system times the acceleration of the system. And so what we say is MA equals, and then what we want to do is add up the different forces acting on a system in a certain direction. So in this case, they're just along this y-axis, so we just want to focus on those forces. And those are the only forces in the system, so it's not really going to make a difference, but what we want to do is add them. So basically, there's another thing to keep in mind. When you add them up on this side of the equation, if something's going downwards, you label it negative, and if something's going upwards, you label it positive. So this 105 Newton force, it's upwards, so we label it positive. But this one, we want to add it, but it's negative. So it's going to be minus mg because it's going downwards. So just keep that in mind. And so now what we have is an equation that we can go ahead and solve for uh, the mass. Because notice we have the acceleration, and we have uh, g, which is just 9.81. So all we have to do is just solve. So I'm going to move this to the other side. So you would get 105 equals mg plus ma. And then I'm going to factor out the m. So just take an m out of both terms. And you'll get m, or 105, equals m times g plus a. Dividing by g plus a, you're going to get what m equals. So you're just going to get m equals 105. And then you divide by the gravity, right? And g is just 9.81, right? And then the acceleration of the system is 0.725. So plus, or plus 0.725. And so now you can just solve. So 105 divided by 9.81 plus 0.725. And so if you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is that it equals, or the mass is equal to 9.966. And then we measure mass in kilograms. So 9.966 kilograms. That's going to be your answer to A. So now that we've done A, right, we solve for the mass, what we want to do is solve for B, which is going to be asking for the weight of the suitcase. So remember how I talked about before we have this weight force? And we know the weight force is just equal to mg. So if we want to solve for the weight of the suitcase, that's what they're asking us for. They're just asking for mg. So all we got to do is take the mass of the suitcase, which we found in the last problem, right, which is 9.966, and then multiply it by g, which is 9.81. So basically just do 9.966 times 9.81. And when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get uh, the weight force, right? So you can call this just W, so or W sub G. It's going to be equal to 97.766. or 97 So I'm just going to round to 97.8. So 97.8, and then it's going to be, we measure uh, a force in newtons, right? So 97.8 newtons. That's going to be uh, the weight of the suitcase. So yeah, mg is just going to be equal to 97.8 newtons. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.